just over half a century, the motor car has developed from the chugging horseless carriage, preceded by a man with a red flag, to the silent, smooth-running, reliable machine that has now become a part of our everyday life. There are many factors which combine to make the wheels of a car go round, but the heart of these is the engine, and the heart of the engine is the cylinder block. Here then is the story of the care and precision that goes into the making of the cylinder block of a quality first Morris car. Our story starts with the excavation of the basic raw material, iron ore. This iron ore is dug from the earth and is loaded into railway trucks. After a short journey, it arrives at the blast furnace sidings. Here it is joined by further trucks. Some of these contain limestone, while others contain coke. Limestone being used for the separation of impurities, and coke for melting the iron ore. In correct proportions, the ingredients are tipped into the furnaces. Here, under terrific heat, the coke gives off gases, which act on the iron ore and reduce it to a liquid state. The result is molten iron. At the analytically correct moment, decided by the chemists, the contents of the furnaces are tapped and channeled off as required. This is done in a blaze of colour and, of course, intense heat. As soon as enough has been drawn off, the furnace is sealed with a large pneumatic gun, which discharges a plug of fire clay into the hole. Before it goes to the foundry, the molten iron has to be cast into workable shapes. This is achieved by channeling the liquid metal into a series of small moulds on a continuously moving belt. When the metal pigs, as the small moulds are known, come off this machine, they have been cooled by a water spray. And the iron, which one day may be the cylinder block of your car, is ready to go to the foundry. Let's jump ahead for a moment and examine a cylinder block which has been cut in half. Note the intricate design of the interior. Moulds have to be made for the exterior shapes and sand cores will be made, representing the shapes of the various internal sections, including the crankcase and waterways. Here is a completed water jacket core. A core box, built up with detachable parts, is pushed under a pneumatic core blowing machine. Then sand, treated with oil, is blown into it at a pressure of 100 pounds per square inch. Detachable pieces of the box are stripped away, leaving the water jacket core. The 
The smaller cores are made by hand. examples of them together with larger ones on their way to the baking ovens. The cores for the crank case and cylinders are made on the bore and crank core blowing machine and the core box is built up with detachable steel parts. After it has been assembled the box is pushed under the blower and filled with sand. then placed under a hydraulic ram, which ensures that the sand is tightly packed. The operation is repeated so that the sand forms a solid core. After packing, the box is dismantled. The sides and ends are taken off, leaving a replica of the interior of the mold in compressed sand. Thus we have the core for two cylinders and part of the crankcase. cores join a moving line on their way to the baking ovens. <laughs> 